I think I'm going to talk on vision and leadership in primary health care, which is a very important part of uh, getting primary health care where we want on a next platform. Today we have it on a very low platform. We need to get uh, primary health care on a next platform where primary health care at present, as we all know, is a preventive and a curative service where we are giving a general service as well as care for the vulnerable groups and a curative service, which is outpatient lab services dispensaries, first aid emergencies. The most important of the general services would be health education and monitoring of the environment, which is very important. If we see the controls of epidemic and endemic diseases, which is equally important, and the health office services. The other aspect, which uh, actually I'm very well versed with, is the maternal and child care, because our hospital deals into this. The school health services, the geriatric and the occupational. And as you see, the footer, it is the health for all which we want to make and we want to achieve. If we are able to achieve it, I think that will be the wealth of this country. The vision would be to make India South Asia disease-free by a robust, responsive and sustainable effective primary health care system, which is easy, accessible, comprehensive, integrated, the most important point, affordable <coughs> and quality-centric. If we do not have quality and affordability, I don't think health cares would uh, move to the next platform. <coughs> well, as you all know, the leadership is the ability to influence others with or without the authority. Here the key strategic points for this would be a vision and strategic thinking. We need to have the awareness on what we are thinking and the environmental awareness as well. How we are going to be able to influence this, how we are going to motivate people to get this project on to a level what we are expecting, what is our vision and what is our goal. How confident are we of it? What is the trust? The trust is all around. First it comes from the people around you as well as the others who are with you. Next is the political skill. A lot of political activities, licenses and uh, expectations are there from the political uh, side, which I think a lot of my colleagues have uh, said about the review of change and renewal of self and others. And after all, the last but the most important is a teamwork, partnership and alliances. Without that, I don't think primary health care would uh, go to the next stage. Leadership in healthcare, as we see, as the team you see, it is unique. There are multiple stakeholders, which we all know. There are the clinicians where we have medicine, nursing, and allied healthcare, where there's a complete shortage. Where people today, if you tell them, go to a rural area, they are not willing to go. We need to make the environment for them, that they go there. We need to develop models for them, that they can go there and work, which can uh, result in a success of the primary healthcare. <coughs> We have managers, we have bureaucrats, we have politicians. Certain things could be done by the politicians, certain things could be done by the advocacy groups, and certain things by media. Media also plays an important role for this. The key issues and challenges, as you see, for a primary health care are sustainability. The community and the patient expectations, the clinical governance and accountability. The way healthcare services are delivered, the workforce capacity and sustainability, political influence and intervention, performance improvement and patient safety, which is of uttermost importance to everybody today. The strategic direction for transforming primary health care. The first direction would be in enhancing the delivery of care. The second would be a cultural change and the third would be building blocks for the change. <coughs> now in direction enhancing the delivery of care, we have a goal. We can have to provide a healthy home. We have certain inputs. What are the inputs? If we give the inputs, we are going to get the result which will be the output of this. Where we have to have an access to aff affordable, comprehensive primary health care service. We need attachment to specific healthcare providers within a team or to a team of providers. Today, it may be a primary healthcare. See, I can get an attachment to even a corporate. I can get an attachment to uh, an NGO who can help out in this. It's not just the government we need to depend on. 
we have to form our own framework over here. Care delivering through interdisciplinary teams and specialities. Number of teams need to act together to deliver whatever is required around that environment. Effective connections with social services and supports. These will be the base for this. And what do you think in the outputs we could get? Individuals will see the provider who best meets their needs. You will have the SS which will be faster. We will have the teams coordinating with individuals, scare with other parts of the healthcare system. And the last, factors that impact individual healthcare like low income and poor housing will be recognized and addressed more effectively. It could be run through NGOs, it could be run through other uh, ways also. The second goal is we establish clear expectations for the care delivery. Here again our inputs would be clinical pathways are used to standardize care. A national accreditation system, if you see most of the primary health care centers at Gujarat have got NABH accreditation. Kerala has also got a few centers in Karnataka are going for it. So I think if we are going to get the quality care, then that's going to be really good for the patients around. Performance evaluation and reporting should be used for continuous quality improvement, which will help us to still enhance because this doesn't stop. A single information management system or an information technology system is used for primary health care. If we see in Gujarat primary health centers, they have got a system wherein they contact the antenatal, postnatal patients, including immunization schedules, and remind the patients in the rural areas, and they see to it that they provide transport also to get the patients back. The output would be common set of quality services across the whole of uh, South Asia, which is done through the accreditation systems. The teams providing services will know how to work and collaborate. We will have regular public reporting on the effectiveness of <coughs> primary health care services. That's a feedback system also we need to take into consideration. No matter where an individual goes for primary health care, the provider will be able to see their medical record, which will be of uttermost importance. As these days, there's a lot of IT technology, which my colleagues have already spoken. This would help us all for this. Goal three is having an integrated health uh, system where the inputs would be partnerships with all the healthcare providers. You need not wait only for government or NGOs. These could become part of the CSR schemes. There could be corporate hospitals, semi-corporate trust hospitals also who could uh, help us out into this. The use of leading practices to shape and improve integration. Continuously, we are assessing community resources and the assets. Removing the structural, policy, practice, and attitudinal barriers towards integration. And what are the outputs we are achieving is avoiding duplicate testing and histories. Primary health care clinics will be connected with secondary and tertiary hospitals across the nation. Health care providers would know the community resources and health programs available and would be able to use them. The cultural change what we are looking for. Supporting people to be active in their health. This would be a very important factor. Again, if supporting people are well-versed and well-versed with the local environment, they would be able to achieve this factor. Providers work in collaborate team-based models, which would be characterized by a shared responsibility. It could be an accountability to the team, and it could be knowledge of the capacities of their peers. It could be enhanced cross-cultural competencies. Goal six would be a culture of continuous learning, innovation, and trust. That is e-health and m-health implementation. Goal seven would be understanding the social determinants of health. where leveraging cross-ministry and cross-sector initiatives. It would be enhancing provider education contemporary about the social determinants of health. Ministries will combine forces to support communities in identifying resources and needs. Ministry of Health, Education, Human Services, align policies, integrate service delivery, share community engagement, and make sure everyone is on the same page. Unless these people all work in a team, and including all of us work in a team, this uh, cannot be achieved. 
Next is the building blocks for change. Develop a primary healthcare system into a system by establishing committees and mechanisms. We could have supportive compensation models. This would be by developing compensation models which are flexible, sustainable and improve service delivery. We could examine compensation models including fee for service. We could be having reviewing compensation models to ensure fair and equitable compensation for all providers in primary health care. Goal 10 would be the workforce development where training professional development and change management. Goal 11 would be responding to the local leads. Goal 12, good effective two-way communication. And goal 13 would be primary health care evaluation framework where we have to have a continuous improvement and measure effectiveness we need to improvement the we need to improve the quality of care and also to inform people of the best practices which is not being done in primary health care usually because of lack of staff what will tomorrow bring for us it's going to bring a continuous change and evolution of primary health care systems and the way it is developed delivered and effective primary health care is correlated with improved population health outcomes improved standards of living and lower total health care spending to survive current and future pressures health care systems will have to change to adapt faster than they have to date in order to survive the primary health systems we will need an effective vision and leadership so I think let us all together create a healthy future together. Unless there's a vision and le leadership, this cannot be created. So we need to form teams together to create it under a certain leadership. Thank you.